It's no secret that vintage reissues have taken center stage for the last couple of years. No matter how innovative a brand may be, there's just something about putting a familiar favorite on the wrist that transports you whenever you check the time, without the hassle of actual vintage upkeep. Zenith know how to do it better than most, with the Chronomaster Original, an absolute flagship. It's not sized up for modern tastes, nor is it merely inspired by a popular vintage reference. Instead, this watch is a faithful recreation of the much lusted after A386, one of the first chronographs to carry the famous El Primero movement. Originally released in 1969, taking nearly the whole decade to develop, the El Primero was the first integrated automatic chronograph movement, and the new generation is both a technical powerhouse and a delight for the eyes. A beat rate of 36,000 vibrations per hour and some mechanical wizardry allows the chronograph to give readings accurate within a tenth of a second, while the 60-hour power reserve will be continuously topped up by the skeletonized winding rotor, decorated with the Zenith Star. The dial is perhaps the most classic and recognizable of vintage Zeniths, with the tricolor subdial layout providing attractive and practical. The added legibility of the color difference seems to make the dial appear larger, which already betrayed its dimensions given how thin the high polished bezel is. It has elongated numerals around the chapter ring that add some vintage flair, while also preventing the complexity of the markers from becoming illegible. There's a vintage accurate date window at 4.30, which on other watches can be unsightly, but the color matched wheel and integrated frame keeps it subtle. While some watches feel the need to slather their dials in text and specifications, Zenith keeps it classy with their star, logo, and the name of the movement, El Primero 36000. The hands are keeping it simple too, with thin rectangular shapes that do their job and a bold red seconds hand that practically jumps off of the dial. The case is another reason why the A386 is so popular, with its Goldilocks proportions, nuanced shape, and bold finishing. You may not think a brushed case is anything special, but the grainy sunburst brushing across the lugs adds a whole new dimension to the watch, and the polished chamfered edges really highlights the aggressive angles of the lug tips. We may be used to a market that's flooded with 42mm chronographs, but the 38mm size is by no means dainty. The watch carries a lot of presence on wrist, with each element remaining harmonious, even as your eye begins to fixate on its details. The strap is a soft grainy leather in navy blue to match the minute subdial, with white cross stitching that works for both casual and formal occasions. Although, the watch would look phenomenally dressy if swapped for an alligator style strap. The price for the Zenith Chronomaster Original is 12,200 Australian dollars, which is a fair sight cheaper than what the original vintage examples go for. If you love the watch for what it is, and not for the fact that it's a vintage example which may need babying, then a brand new reissue is exactly what you should be considering.